we say good morning to JW, hey, who morning. just uh, rolled in here. And uh, Jeff, of course, is talking to JW about beating his ticket, which I, I don't didn't blame him. <laughs> I, I didn't beat Hey, it. copper! <laughs> he actually owes me. Just so you know. I didn't beat I, it. I made some phone calls. I mean, and, you uh, didn't beat it. You beat it. You won. Show up. He didn't, well, show, he didn't up. show up. He didn't show up. Maybe... Yeah. Maybe, I mean, who knows? maybe there was something more pressing, and you know what? My hat's off. My tip of the cap to the San Luis PD. If if that officer um, had something that was more important than me running a stop sign that day, and he was he was tending to that, then you know, then good. I mean, you know, there's priorities. In, in yeah, your let's line talk of work, about right? that. So, I mean, I'm sure you've been requested by somebody that you wrote a ticket to to go to court, and to, uh-huh. you know, you have to give your side of it. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, you're working that day, so you you kind of block that time out. I would imagine to yeah, uh, to if, go if to you're court. You're subpoenaed. You're required to go. Oh, now, w- did you subpoena him? No, the courts would if he was go- if he if he wanted to contest the citation. Yeah. Then the courts are going to subpoena the officer. Well, why didn't he show up then? Uh, I can't answer. If that. I'm subpoenaed, don't I'm show up. I'm going to tell you right I, now. I, I didn't, get arrested. I didn't show up because I called the guy and I said, "Hey, <laughs> you know, Jeff's a friend of mine, and and he's going to take me to lunch." No, um, he, 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 he may have been on vacation. He could have been sick. It could have been, you know, oh, okay. He could have uh, been working, had been on a call, and couldn't break away from the call to get to court. I mean, okay, so a reasonable, yeah, yeah. There was something. Now, if that it had happened. been like you know felony or misdemeanor court, like at the courthouse, they they may have held it, but maybe. Yeah. But traffic court, you if you if you say, hey, I want the officer there, and they subpoena him, and they don't show up, apparently you win because that's what happened oh, to Jeff. Don't win, you just you know. They that's dis- a win. They, they dismiss it. In the, they <laughs> no, said, I'm just yeah. Well, it, what's a stop dismissed. sign? I'm I mean, playing. a stop sign ticket I know it's is a bad about, it's ticket. Probably, it's probably very expensive. It's and, a point on your record and make make your insurance yeah, go up. The insurance part of it is really bad because Which, when you run stop signs, ooh, there's gosh, a good chance the that you're gonna you could cause an accident. So you become a high risk. With traffic school, it was going to be like uh, north of 400. Yeah, if, so it's uh, not cheap. You know, yeah. it, you know, if it's if it's something that you, as a motorist, if you feel like you you know you did nothing wrong or you weren't you know in violation of the law then of course that's everybody's right i've been to traffic i've been to traffic court you know as on both sides i'll tell you this you ever <laughs> taken traffic school yes i have you you, you what you, would you get a ticket and you had to take traffic school yeah back yeah when you had to do when you had to go to the, to the actual class on the weekend or whatever you know <laughs> yeah. in the past that's, that's a real pain in the now past it's, you know online seven and a half years i've been pulled over twice once for speeding out in king's county now I know not to speed, especially through Kings County. And um, because they you know you that road from Kettleman City to Fresno, that's a... 41? That's, it's a, yeah, it's a, very, it's a very wide road. And it's deceiving because the speed limit's 55 on it. But you're, everybody else is going like 70. And I was just not paying attention to the speed limit signs. Um, but I know now to pay better attention to speed limit signs. I also know to come to a complete stop complete stop at, at stop signs yes because of the stress that that has caused me since may knowing that i gotta go to court blah, 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 all that well stuff. you know like on 41 where you're talking about that road it's a two-lane road one lane in each direction the maximum speed is always 55 mm-hmm. that's good to know I, I did not know that even though it's really wide with really wide so even like on parts of 46 or 41 when it's a passing lane where you know for a little bit it's, it's two lanes in mm-hmm. one direction still 55 now if it's two lanes in each direction like 46 um how it's become you know you know more of a, a it's still a highway but it's they can the, the speed limit can be 65 in those areas further so, out like when you're yes, coming when out you to over, lost hills yes it's that, 65 over there oh it is yes. when it's when it's two lanes mm-hmm. going and in it's each separated direction. it's like a real separate yeah. highway still a highway not a freeway it's a highway because of the egress and ingress because non-controlled intersections but it's 65 over this there. is this is um i feel like we're we're well, learning learning a lot this morning. Today, today, right? I mean, yeah, I also that. today jeff i mean i was i was wanting to get him a ticket this morning on the way to work and i'm gonna have to talk to the officer on the grade i mean i, I just saw him at briefing <laughs> hey everybody was on their best behavior this. coming well, down the grade the good news so morning. far is we haven't had a lot of rain it's starting to rain in yeah. morro bay right now but and the wind is picking up and the rain is going to be here it's going to be probably are you going to be uh, out working today uh, I don't know if I'll be on the road today. It'll be tomorrow. Oh, I mean, good today, for you. you today's going to be mean, a nightmare. You saved me. I mean, one of the most popular radio shows in the country calls. You, you got you to be here, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why I told my boss. Anyway. You've been subpoenaed. Yeah, I can't put the cover all on. Tell me the what, radio. Radio. I didn't tell him what radio station I'd be on. But um, <laughs> No, I mean, yeah. I mean, and we've had, we had some rain a couple weeks ago. I mean, just look at the, the grapevine yesterday. I-5 shut down. Yeah, I saw I, the snow. I had to go to San Diego for a work meeting two weeks ago and drove over that, and it was fine. Mm-hmm. Two weeks later, boom, and you know, just because of weather in one day, it shut down. So, um, we're getting to that rainy season. You got mudslides down, you know, in Santa, they've they've uh, evacuated Montecito or parts of it, I think. Um, 
It's gonna, they're it's evacuating, yeah, down there this morning because of the heavy. It's supposed to be heavier down there. Yeah, yeah it's supposed to. They're supposed to get two to four inches. Really thick cells. I don't know if that's going to so actually a, happen, but it's yeah. It's, you know, um, we, we don't get rain much here. I mean, we we're pretty spoiled. So be, you know, I like, be careful. I like the fact that early this morning, though, I saw a CHP officer on the grade because it's kind of a reminder to everybody. You know, people get in their daily routines. They're going to work. They're you know on their regular commute, and they kind of space out when they drive. Mm-hmm. It's a nice reminder to people today that the weather's cr- probably going to be a little bit crappy later on, and probably it looks like it's getting in, th- in that neighborhood right now. Um, just be aware. Yeah, during this time of year, inclement weather, the wind is, I mean, look at the winds howling. Um, if it's still dark on the grade, some t- you can't even see around you. Just, you're just going to feel the wind. So you got to give yourself, I mean, the most, there's, there's, you know, several things that are important. Tires, of course, tread depth. You know, making sure your pressures are where they're supposed to be. Nobody pays attention to that yeah. stuff around here, and, I bet. And, and we don't, right? You grew yeah. up in Washington where, you know, it's important. Yeah. I grew up in southeast Texas where it rains all the time, and so it's important. Here, we get spoiled. You can drive on bald tires 95% of the year. Yeah, well, how are your minivan tires? Uh, I, I, I rolled oh, his eyes. I got, no, I, I got, got them changed. I got them changed oh, right okay. before the rainy season because yeah. I, I had to. You need uh, to, right? <laughs> because we get used to, I mean, you can ride. You can drive on poor tires. Most of the time around here the because worst, the weather's so awesome. The worst is your windshield wipers. Yes. Those. This is something I've not been able to get used to in 13 years of living in California is living in the Pacific Northwest because you're using them all the time. They don't weather mm-hmm. like you. They will last you three, four years here. You need to change them almost annually because what happens, it gets so hot in the summertime that it will bake that, that It'll dry rot to your windshield. windshield wiper onto your onto your um, windshield, and then you go to use it in the first rain, and then you just have this empty space in, in right in your line of sight, and you're like, oh, man. So, I mean, not that, you know, I'm sure everybody's been dealing with the rain. They've got them changed, but keep that in mind. The tire guys are probably happy right now. Oh, the tire yeah. guy Jeff just wrote it. It's got to take care of your tires. Because yeah. when this happens, it reminds people to get tires. And it is very, very, very important. I just put some on my daughter's car two weeks ago. Yeah. Body shop guys, guys that own body shops today, are like, oh, yeah, baby. Fender Come benders. Fender benders. My uncle, this is what he used to do. It's terrible. He owns three body shops up in Washington State. He rubs his hands together like this. I'm like, he's, pray- he's praying for snow. Well, when it snows, yeah, well, not yeah. rain because it rains up there all the time. All right. Well, how about we do a little Ask JW anything? AJWA? AJWA? Yeah, you ready? I mean, you know, I'm, I took the chance to be here this morning. All right. All right. So here's the deal. This is how it works. You can text your question in. If you want to be anonymous, that's fine. You can also call in at 805-543-3693. You can call. You can text. Why do you keep looking at your watch? You, I don't. I'm you got an appointment to be? I, I do here in a little bit. I'm working today. He's out of uniform today. What are you doing? I just have some things to do at the office. <laughs> I really do. That's why I'm all dressed so far, up for you. I mean, my first question was, what do you have to do today? Office work. You, you called me yesterday, right? And I said, yeah, I'll be here. And no, got, no, I, no. I just think it's funny. And I got all dressed up for you. We're and doing, I, and I, I, got, I was here on time when you got on me. I, I'm I, dressed up to see you and you're on me. You know? He's got a nice collared shirt on. Yeah, yeah you do. Starts. You do. I mean, I'm ready like to you're, go. You're going on a business interview. Yeah, or well, it's it's a business. I got I got to take care of some business at work. Right okay. There. All right. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm at, we're, we're doing Ask JW Anything. I asked you a question. You're like, I got office work. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's not office work, hopefully but it's work can, at the office. Hopefully so. you can elaborate to some of these these people. Oh, yeah. No, we got these but, guys covered. You do? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, 805-543-3693. We got uh, Dale on the phone. What do you got for J-Dubs? Is I-5 over the grapevine open? I'm headed to Los Angeles this Ooh, morning. Man, you know what? Where are you coming from, Dale? Paso. Man, if I was you, honestly, I'd take the 101 down. Um, <sighs> and the only reason why I'm saying that is because it might be open right now. And between now and, and, and getting over there, it could close. I don't know. Uh, you can check the Caltrans website. That would be the best bet to, to check that out. But if it was me and I was going south today, I would take the 101 down. Just to be Fair safe. Enough. Just yeah. to be safe. You know you don't hit any snow going down All right, Dale. Thank you, buddy. Take care. All right. Uh, five four three thirty six ninety three. Hi. Good morning. What's your name? Yeah, my name's uh, John. Hey, John. Uh, ask JW anything. Okay. So my question is, um, and this kind of, I think, Pertains, from my understanding, mostly with higher patrol officers, um, <laughs> tinting on the windows. So when you go into a tent shop, it says that there's a California law that you can have a certain percentage of tint on your side of your driver side windows. Um, but I've been pulled over before and told that 
by the Highway Patrol that I can have zero tint on those windows. Yeah, that's correct. You check the vehicle code. Um, you can have a film on there for UV protection, okay? But you can't have tint, like a, an actual tinted, um, I'm going to call it color or tint. You know, it can't be tinted. But you can have a film over there to protect your skin from the UV rays. So check the vehicle code out. You also can't have any tint on your front windshield, you know, um, you know, but in the old days how they would come. I used uh, to have a big uh, dark from, yeah. dark uh, strip across the top of yeah, my window. Can't do that here. Just the top, not even here. No, no. And nothing on the side. I mean, nothing on the two front doors. Yeah. Rear doors are fine. Nothing on the two front doors. Does that answer your question, John? It or does answer my question. Living in North County, though, I tell you, I mean, you just about need it. Yeah, and I'm, I'm not saying that you will get pulled over for it. I'm not saying that because um, uh, certain parts of the state, of course, the. It, Officers may be a little more lenient. I'm just telling you, you know, you can be pulled over for it. You know, just like a license plate light or, uh, you know, a rear tail light or a headlight. Those are things that you can be pulled over for. It doesn't and then mean they, you could, will. they could then tack it on if you were, like, let's say, maybe not very nice to the police officer. Yeah, and they, they saw you have tinted windows. windows. They you. Go, oh, it's, it's I got windows. pulled over for going 67 miles an hour on the freeway, and they ticketed me for 67, and they ticketed me for tint on the windows. And this was my older truck. And the tint was actually lighter than the tint that the factory tint on the cars comes with now. Mm-hmm. Where was this at? I mean, where? I mean, San Luis Obispo. And the, which which highway? Oh, uh, I I actually pulled off on the uh, same street right there with the um, what, Walnut, I think, or whatever it is, right there by the police department. That's where I pulled off. So uh, you were uh, he got behind me right around Madonna. Oh, so you were on the freeway, got pulled over. Yeah, yeah. for going two over. For going, yeah. I'm like, uh, when he pulled me over, you know why I pulled you over? I'm like, uh, no. He goes, your speed. And I go, 67. Because I looked at my speed speedometer when I saw him behind me. And he goes, well, what's the speed limit? And I said, 65. <laughs> he said, well, there you go. I'm like, okay. Uh, all right, buddy. Have a good day. Hopefully that helps. <laughs> I've been doing this job a long time. Uh, you know, a long time. I've, I've, what's uh, the least? I can tell you I, I've never pulled anybody over for going 67 <laughs> and 65. So I'm not saying John's not being, yeah, right, yeah, you know, yeah, sure. not telling the truth. I just, I mean, I've, I've really never heard of it. I mean, in the rain, maybe some at 70, 72, 73 may pass you. Uh, you know, you're like, hey, come on, slow down. Um, to circle back to um, something that was brought up earlier, uh, I was just checking the Caltrans website. As of right this moment, it's open. The grapevine's okay. What's a 1013? Do you know what a 1013? Weather check. Um, they're doing a weather check up there right now. now if it was me, I would. If it was me, I, 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 I would roll the, the dice. I saw the footage on the news yesterday. Yeah. People are sitting there with their windshield wipers on. Mm-hmm. No, thank you. And you're talking about this uh, big weather system that's supposed to come mm-hmm. through Santa Barbara. It comes right through Santa yeah. Barbara and goes over to the grapevine. Yeah. So it, you, you really wouldn't. You would. Exercise I would send. I would, as send, a Jer- I would send Jeremy over the grapevine. <laughs> So you could call me, complain, and, and yell at me. But if it was you, Jeff, because I like you, I would send you down 101. we got to get to the 805 beer text lines, um, 805-543-3693. First well, and foremost, um, Jason's got a question for you about the new exhaust ordinance for the sound levels on how bad um, the exhaust can, or how loud the exhaust can be, um, and how is that going to affect motorcyclists and their exhaust, specifically Harleys? You know, I, I'd have to research the new law i mean as far as decibel levels and things of that nature i mean uh can you get a citation for it yes but then you have to go to the you, you got to go somewhere and get it get it rated get it you know get it what, whatever you have to do to get that done i would say call our coastal division office maybe call our ask for the commercial unit that's 805-549-3261 see if they can answer that for you call our office at uh, 805-594-8700 and get the literature and, and and where you can do that locally um because it's one of those, I mean, if it's really, really loud, you can, as an officer, I mean, it's just loud. You, know, you, write, you write them a ticket, then that individual has to prove that their vehicle meets the standards, but it's kind of hard to Do you explain. have a DB tester? Like the, I don't know. I mean, I mean, is that how, is that how they determine Whitney, it, though? Whitney like, from the farmer's market does. Yeah, well, you could get an app but on is your it, phone. But is it licensed? <laughs> is, it, is, it, is it calibrated? You know what I'm saying? Is it... So. I don't know. She downloaded some app, and we were doing a, a you know an event down there. We had speakers, mm-hmm. and she kept yelling at me to turn it down. That what, I was the over Google eighty Play decibels. Store doesn't, doesn't calibrate things. <laughs> you know, just like you know, like people who get their trucks lifted, you know, and the calibration for your speed up, you know, your speedos off. 
you know, you go AAA, they're calibrated. You can go get your speedometer recalibrated. Here's a question we had about Teslas um, not having driver's license. I'm sorry, not having license plates on them. Is that because they're an electric car that they don't have to have a plate? No, they still so have a motor to pay fees. Vehicle, you right? know, so uh, I'm going to look into that. that. That's you know, I I've seen the same thing, and it and it's intriguing. It's interesting. It's definitely something that I uh, want to say. The majority of Teslas don't have t- yeah, license plates and, on the back of them, and, and they're you know. I would think that they're, they're required to just like any other vehicle. electric vehicle, a, you know, Bolt or a Volt or, you know, all electric cars. How am I going to live out my dream of licensing bicycles if I can't get a Tesla license, for God's sakes? Well, you know, we have seen you ride. We don't need a license on yours. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know so me? I need to check that. I'm going to check into that. Yeah, I, I, I have a question about a weapon, mm-hmm. uh, the taser mm-hmm. that you use. I went down to the gun shop and mm-hmm. I was going to buy a taser. And uh, they didn't have the ones that shoot the prongs like you do. Can I get license for that? I mean, if I can get a license to shoot a gun with a bullet in it, I would think I should. Do you know if I can get one that will shoot the taser tongs? You have to check your concealed weapons permit. You know, th- those laws, if you can, if there's, a, you know, something through your that's that concealed weapons permit process, if you can get a license to carry a, that uh, type of taser. Um, but you can carry the old school stun guns. Yeah, right, my, right. My, I had a girlfriend once that. Oh, there we those. go. She had one of those, and I never. I was scared to death of it. The minute you push the button on it, you see that little. Then you hear go, it, probably uh, right. But I had Crack. a I had a buddy who was like Jeremy, a lot like Jeremy. And he's like curiosity got the best of him, and he's like, "I'm going to try this," and he stuck it up. <laughs> his arm, he dropped to the ground. <laughs> he's like, "Oh, <laughs> so much fun!" Because you can take the prongs them. out of our our tasers, and it's just a stun gun. Yeah, I know, but I want the ones that shoot. Well, you're gonna. Have to and I was told that you that you're, you yeah, can't. No, I mean, yeah, you, I don't know if you can get it through the concealed weapons permit process. You, I mean, can you like have you a said, concealed you, weapons in uh, California? Oh yeah. Uh, oh, I didn't. They know go that. county by county. My, this, my stepdad this, this lives in Arizona. He's got you know he's got all kinds of guns. He's got concealed weapons. He got tasers. But he's got harpoons. He yeah. wants to get one for California, and he's like, hey, I, I was told I need to ask Bazookas. your buddy JW if if he'll write me a. And I'm like, he doesn't no, know you. No, we don't do that. I mean, like like for here, if you live in the city, you go to the city police. If you live in the county, you go to the sheriff's department. They issue those. Okay. All right. I mean, uh, I don't Tyler. Know if, I don't know if you could pass the the uh, the, the background, pass the psycho- you know, the psychiatric test. But, you know, you can <laughs> no, try. Yeah. Legally, I'm fine. <laughs> Psychotic, not sure. <laughs> Tyler on the Mesa wants to know your most awkward drunk encounter with a college girl, Ugh, you if know, you've had one. I have college kids, so, <laughs> and I'm getting old. Uh, Probably I, your, your it, own kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know. You know, I've definitely, you know, I would, I would and without stereotyping or being sexist or rude, Women are probably the meanest, you know, as far as what they're verbally and what they'll say and be crude. And I mean, I've had um, when I worked in Santa Ana years ago, I had a, a lady that I was taking to jail or getting ready to arrest. She had she was had a feminine hygiene product, and she threw ah. it at, and she threw it at me. So uh, things can be rather pretty gross, you know. Things happen. Was but, it still in wow. wrapper? No, it was. Uh, no. <laughs> this, okay, you said enough. Yeah, there you go. God, that is, no that is not what I think so this, any of us were no thinking that you were going to say. This goes to tell you that this job is not all you know, just what you think it is from watching, Thanks. listening to that music and watching Ponch and John in the seventies. <laughs> yeah. It is not that. Thank God you got to transfer to San Luis Obispo. Oh, I deal with those Santa Ana winds if you know yeah. what I mean. Jeez. Oh wow. Let's compose uh, ourselves, Jeff. I felt like, what was that show that um, that what's his name was in where he's like avoiding things? Um... Oh, the Matrix. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> JW is here, uh, California Highway Patrol. Um, just reminding us that you got to keep the lights on if the wipers are on. You know, and and we so, talked earlier about tires and windshield wipers. You know, we and Jeff talked about how you know they get dry rot and stuff. Also, man, this is important as. Give yourself some space. Give yourself some time during inclement weather like this because it's, you know, you, you, you can't stop on a dime. You can't make those turns like you normally would. You can't see as well. And it's just very, very, very important to give yourself you can't, space and time. You can't control how the person in front no. of you drives. So you and gotta, and yeah. a lot of times you can hydroplane. You won't even see it. Yeah, you won't see Coming. it. You'll feel it. And if you hydroplane, you know, ease off the gas, put you know, cover the brake, and try to guide your vehicle back to where you want it to go. Don't freak out. Jam on the brakes, the gas, and you know, and try and steer hard because you're going to crash, or you, the potential is, is there. Uh, this is coming off the 805 beer text line. Uh, Kathleen says uh, she commutes home in the evening, later in the evening, um, between six and seven, and usually the speed is around 80 miles an hour. 
on the freeway and she notices very little CHP presence. She wants to know if that's, is that on purpose or uh, <laughs> to kind of let the, let the flow of traffic go or what? No. And, and, and our briefings, debriefings and, and shift changes are purposely done outside of, you know, normal commute times so that we're out there. It could be calls. It could be anything. Somebody else could be getting a ticket and you're just getting lucky. So, um, <laughs> You know, certain parts, if you're in the county, I mean, certain parts of this county through San Luis, um, AG, you know, it's going to be a little slower because of the amount of traffic. Uh, North County, Tascadero, through Paso, into Paso, a little slower in the evenings and mornings because of the amount of traffic. There's certain parts, you know, southbound or northbound from Santa Margarita into Tascadero, le- less traffic. People tend to drive a little faster. Um, so just got to be careful. Do you get a little bit of a space, of, of a cushion? Possibly so, but when. Uh, you're not going to get a 15 mile uh, I will say this about the California Highway Patrol. In my travels in other states, mm-hmm. my home state being one of them, uh, the state in between my home state and this state being another one of them, I will say that the California Highway Patrol exercises the most common sense than any other. The best judgment, yeah. They, they will allow traffic to go. They're not going to just start pulling people over, slowing down traffic. Well, you know, if you're on the 101, in Washington, or I'm sorry, the I- I-5 and going through Oregon, man, those guys, they're, yeah, it's, they're like vampires. It, it, they are. If you are 57 miles an hour, <laughs> yeah, they are they're, vampires. Uh, they're, they're, they're pulling you over. And it's like, it's like, wait a minute. And I, and I, I know y- y'all, I'm using your, your ver- vernacular here, mm-hmm. uh, JW, but y'all, aren't doing us any favors when we travel to other states because we think we could, you know, travel like California. Yeah, I was surprised they see those California licenses. They're like, they got money. <laughs> Let me right. sign them up. Let's get, <laughs> let's get Dave up here. What's your question for J-Dubs? Uh, I wanted to know what's the highest speed he's ever done in a, in a pursuit? Fast as a car And go. where? Over a hundred? On oh, the one forties, probably maybe. One forties? Does that scare you? How was, that, fast? was that here? Or down if south? I'm driving, no. If I'm the pastor, yes. Because <laughs> you're not in control, right? <laughs> you know, you're thinking about brake fade. You're, you know, you're not in control. Um, I, that would that and would that's, drive me you nuts. Know, you know, through here. How I mean, fast was that? In the one forties. You. you know, high one thirties, one forties. One thirty, one forty. Futures. Yeah, you I, know, mean, I, used, I worked in King City before I came to San Luis. That's happened here in San Luis. You got. You got stretches, and depending on what time of day, and you know. What you were know. you driving? Were you driving the old Caprice? Crown Vic. No, the Caprices Crown Vic, were run right. really fast, but the brakes were horrible. Okay. So there you go, Dave. Eight oh five five four three thirty six. Good to know if I'm in, into buying an aftermarket police car. Yeah, I would. <laughs> when I was a teenager, I got to go up to in Washington State. They have a driving mm-hmm. test facility where they train officers. Mm-hmm. Pretty interesting. Um, they let us drive through the course. Mm-hmm. And then we got to go in with an officer and drive it. And I have been asking y'all to go for years to the academy. We have a big racetrack. You can go up there and, you know, scare each other to death if you want to. Yeah, but you I, want me but, to fight people. But you I have, don't, to, but you have to, to also fight and get tased. It's part of the, you have to take the good with the bad. Pretty you sure want to drive fast, then you're going to get tased. Pretty sure my kid. It's very easy. Who's okay. tasing me? You? I would love to. Listen, if I but could tase might, you, I, you could tase me. <laughs> I've been tased. I know <laughs> I know it's not fun. Maybe, just, maybe they'll let you and Jeff tase each other. Let's just say this, my academy days are behind me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Victor. Uh, thanks for hanging on. Go ahead, man. What's your question for J-Dubs? Yeah, I was curious. I got a two-parter. Uh, how long, do, what, what's the grace period for getting the DMV to send out the registration tax? Do you guys, like, give people a grace period? And what's the fine for expired registration tags? You know, um, the fine, I have no idea. I mean, that's can be a fix-it ticket. So it can be nothing. It can be 25 bucks. It can be a regular ticket. Um, we, our policies, we give, you know, 30 days as far as, you know, f- from the time that um, it's expired till it's due before we start issuing citations or, or, or impounding. Okay. And then so for like impounding, it's six months or longer. Gotcha. So it's like uh, if it's expired in January, you'd wait till like March first or something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and you give somebody a grace period. I mean, you know, usually, you know, I'm just saying policy is 30 days. You may give somebody a little longer, and then like policy for impounding your car for expired registration is six months, and that you know, is, is that's the policy of it. So, gotcha. I appreciate that. You guys have a great day. Thank All right, you. buddy. Take care. All right. See you. Eight zero five five four three thirty six ninety three. Hi, buddy. Go ahead. Good morning, fellas. J Dub, how do they determine the amount that a fine will be when you're speeding? Well, there's a certain set amount. I believe that the state's going to say okay, it's it's X amount of dollars, um, and then there's a county fee. There's you know uh, assessment fees from the court. There could be assessment fee from the city, 
And it depends on where you get the ticket and who gives it to you. Um, for the CHP, we, the department doesn't make money off of citations, so we don't charge extra, you know, for arrests or citations or for anything like that. Cities may, so it's for us, it's whatever the county deems it necessary, that citation is going to be, that's what it is. Thanks, buddy, for the call. You know, that's kind of like my situation. When I was doing, you know, 95 and a 65 or 70, it was 70 mm-hmm. over in, you uh, in, know, in, on were the Mojave. You, and the Mojave on 58. you called us up and you told us that? <laughs> Me and JW looked at each other and go, that's not going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> but my but, ticket was only 300 and something dollars right. because of that's what the yes. county of Mojave decided to to, to charge. And it's different. So, I mean, it's the same thing for, whatever even for us, for reports, for... Uh, signing off uh, tow impounds. We we you know we don't we don't charge for that. We charge five bucks for a report, I believe, or maybe ten bucks. I think it's ten bucks for a report if you come by and buy one, or ten cents a page. And um, we just it's just doing business. Now other departments they may charge. I think they, some departments may charge a hundred bucks just to get your card of impound. <laughs> yeah, so it all really right? depends on where you're at. It depends on where you're at, who you're dealing with. So, so yeah, people just, charge. There are departments around here that charge to have tickets signed off. We don't. So come by and see us. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. <laughs> I think you signed a ticket for me once. I'm, I need to give you a few. <laughs> I can't remember. Sergeants are on my out. back, and I need to. I need to. Uh, hey, I'm a great driver. Okay, I, I'll go down to your truck right now and find something. The last I well, Jeff said he got a couple of tickets. I've had three. Two of them are speeding. One on the 46 West, mm-hmm. driving the Passat. Fine piece of German engineering. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that's a that's, that's a that's high a, velocity vehicle. Yeah. yeah, when you drive that Jetta on the uh, wine, wine country roads, <laughs> you can't with help your it. scarf and fancy hat. <laughs> feel like <laughs> don't oh, forget yeah, was, the Ascot. Either. Yes, oh yeah. 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 I was I was well. sucking on charcuterie, <laughs> and uh, wait, you suck on cheese? That's weird. And then, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I got a cell phone ticket. I was at a stop sign. Yes, you can remember. We've discussed that. You can and get I took those. a call at a stoplight. Yeah. And I looked over and there was CHP there. Older guy, gray hair in the Pomo area about seven years ago. Yeah. You probably know who he is. Yeah, he's retired. Oh, you know yeah. what you guys got to do is you got, he's got to get on that. I co- probably was his 1,000th ticket or something. That Costco <laughs> gas line. If you could patrol the Costco <laughs> gas that's line. private property. You can be there. <laughs> right? You can be there. You just, you know, anywhere you can legally park your vehicle, you can be on your cell phone. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, it's always good to have, play a little last uh, JW. Oh, yeah, no. Or whatever I, you I, I missed it. the first of the month because uh, January 1st was the first Tuesday, so didn't make it in. I uh, hope everybody's having a wonderful new year, getting it off to a You would have been proud start. of me. I, Jeff was my designated driver. We paid him to drive us around. That's a good thing. So we were loaded. Yeah, That's a good sure thing. We were, <laughs> Jeremy was, was, was an embarrassment. I felt bad for his wife because she said... Oh, stop. I was an embarrassment. She said, she said I'm going to sit in front with you. I was like, <laughs> well, I mean, she is married to Jeremy. <laughs> God bless her. I mean, we just kind of looked at each other with that understanding look of knowing this guy for the last... <laughs> well, she's known him for a lot longer than I have. Listen. And I, and I was like, yeah. I, I knew I had to ride with you home, and I needed to get lubricated to make sure that I could handle the stress. <laughs> but he got us there safe, so that was That's good. what matters. Jeff and Jeremy in the morning. Don't miss a moment. Subscribe to the podcast on Google, Apple, YouTube, and Podbean by clicking on Jeff and Jeremy at KZOZ.com.